so much. Wow, fantastic. How are you? All right. How are y'all? Everybody okay? We're all cool. I'm a cool. <laughs> it's great to be here tonight. Um, it's great to be in Los Angeles. Even though I'm not from here, I'm from Houston, Texas. I, uh, and I live here in Los Angeles. I live in a dangerous part of Los Angeles called Los Angeles. Uh, <laughs> I live in a place called Da Hood, D-A Hood, Da Hood. Population, all them bitches. Can I get a woo woo? Holla, murder up. I live with Mexicans. We got any Mexicans in here? Oh, yeah. Woo! Man, it's a shitload. What's that, a Ho Carlo? God damn. <laughs> Love Mexicans, man. Y'all are the coolest, because you ever get a Mexican dude's name, you can always just read their necklace, and that's just convenient, isn't it? What's your... Nomar, what kind of f***ed up name is <laughs> Ramon, come on, Stas! You cut your hair, boo! Crazy. I love Mexicans, man, because y'all can fix anything with, like, two chiglets and a pocket knife. Seriously. My car broke down on the side of the road, and uh, this Mexican dude wrote up to me, and he's like, hey, what's wrong with your car? And I go, well, I'll tell you, Hector. Uh, The son bitch won't start. He, hey, pop the hood. <laughs> so I pop the hood. He's looking in there, eating three chickens, because apparently it was a tough repair. He's like, okay, try it now. Vroom, holy shit, Hector! You rock! Fuck yeah, get in the car. I'll buy all your oranges, cherries, um, newspapers. Put them all in there, bro. Fuck yeah. He's the coolest, that guy. I got his flowers. That guy's great. Hector, right there, he's great. I like the hood, it's just different, you know? Stuff happens there that doesn't happen anywhere else, okay? Uh, it really doesn't, okay? This is, a, this is a strange event that only happens in the hood. Um, it, was, uh, it was about two years ago. I got a knock on the door at like four o'clock in the afternoon. All right, and me and my girlfriend are there, right? And, uh, and yeah, that, that's not part of the joke. Okay, all right, anyway. <laughs> I open the door and, and at the door is a black dude and a white chick, right? And the brother's like, yo, man, my name's Alvin, or Ali Alvin, or Alvin, right? And he, and I'm like, hello, what the f right? Okay, he goes, yo, player, we just wanna know if you wanna party. I was like, huh, what are you talking about? Yo, man, you wanna party? What the f Yo, it's four o'clock in the afternoon, just gonna knock on the door, and hey, you wanna party? What the hell, right? And, I, and I'm like, huh? And he looks down the hall, both ways, and goes, all right, player, you want some it was a pimp and a hooker going door to door selling That's the only thing that happens there, okay? All right, now I, okay, first of all, I cannot believe this is happening to a comedian, right? I'm like... Right? It's God. 
God, it's sent from God. Okay, it's fantastic. But then I started thinking, hey, that's a criminal. Like, he's a criminal. He's a pimp. You know, it's his job to slap bitches and cut people for money. That's his job. He's a criminal. Danger. Okay, so I get, I'm like, oh, wow. Hey. Ooh. Hey. Uh, he thought I was trying to stall him, right, to, to like, to drive a bargain. So he's like, yo, play, okay, man, look, normally a half and half is a hundred dollars. All right, money? But I see you got a little hesitant, you know, and spend all that. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, for you this week, we run a special. Seventy dollars for a half and half. What do you say, play? Come on, half and half. Seventy dollars, goddamn. Now he's selling discount door to door. Like it's day old. What the f are you talking about? Okay, now, what he can't see is my girlfriend is like 10 feet away. Okay, now girls, you really wouldn't like your man to be offered at the front door, would you? That wouldn't be like, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Look at him, he's getting at the front door. That's my man. Look at you. So I have danger here, and I damn sure got danger there, okay? So I did the only thing a man could do in that situation. Be stupid, player. That's all you can do. Be stupid, okay? I was like, um... Just a second. Uh, honey, do, do we need some <laughs> it, It's on sale. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that's different there that you don't get anywhere else, okay? Um, <laughs> that's one of them, okay? Uh, but just the little things are different. Like, we don't have a jack-in-the-box restaurant, y'all. We got a jizzack up in the biox. That's what we got. <laughs> And you gotta order like you're from the hood or the drive through guy will shoot you out of respect. It's like, yo, what a player, yo, money, can you get me a jumbo jizzack? And he's testing me, right? He goes up with cheese, like a mug. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and I wanna send a shout out to the fry guy. Got much love with the fry guy. Bum, 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 prize. Bum, 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 bum. I want a cold drink, bow down, the cold drink, bow down. And I need me a chicken sandwich from my baby's mama. He was like, word. <laughs> yo, son, you're the shizzy man. Is it be that back to grip suit in mitten on? You know what I'm saying, player? You want a jumbo jizzack with cheese like a mug? I want to send a shout out to the fry guy. Got much love with the fry guy. Bumper in the fry. Holla, holla, can I get a whoop? What the shit cheese? Scott LaRock. You want a cold drink? Bad on the cold drink, bad down. And you need a chicken sandwich for your baby's mama because you're a hustler, baby. <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the black folks in here going, whoo, white boys got flavor. <laughs> what happened? I do have flavor because I'm from the South. A lot of white folks in the South got flavor. They just suppress it sometimes with country music. <laughs> we do have flavor from the South, you know? And I am from the South, y'all. I was born in Tennessee, raised in Arkansas, and moved to Texas when I was 18. I'm Southern. I'm my own cousin. Okay? I... I'm Southern. But I like a lot of like white folks from the South who won't admit it. I'll tell you the truth. I got some black blood in me. What the? Yeah. I wish I got that big dick. That'd have been cool. Yeah. That's how it goes. I didn't get a big dick. I got, you know, I got bad credit. Ain't that a bitch? That's how it goes, player. It's either big dick or bad credit every time. That and a couple sickle cells, but all I got. I didn't get the magic stick, folks. I can hit it once, I can't hit it twice. <laughs> it allows me, though, to tell the truth, you know what I mean? It allows me to tell the truth. You know, because I live with Mexicans and I got black blood in me, so. Yeah, hey, just a couple of drops, but it's there, ta da. <laughs> so good little bit. It allows me to tell the truth, you know? And uh, not everybody likes the truth, you know what I mean? But most comments give you what you want. Daddy gives you what you need. <laughs> it's good for you. Like, here's some truth for us. Uh, white people, we constantly f on minorities in this country, don't we? Man, it got quiet fast, though, didn't it? <laughs> white people are here like, what the f are you doing? 
Hello, they're right over there. They will kill us. <laughs> Look, fat guy, I didn't drive all the way from Beverly Hills for this shit, okay? <laughs> Jesus, it's crazy. <laughs> we do f for minorities. You can't say we don't because we do. Uh, Black Heritage Month, anybody know what month that is? February, yeah, the shortest month. Right. <laughs> the shortest Month. We fucked them out of three days. <laughs> but it's also one of the coldest months. You can't get black people marching when it's 20 below. <laughs> Fubu don't make a parka. There ain't no Sean John ski suit. <laughs> Got them pit bulls be running around getting frostbitten. Are you out of your fucking mind? But you know, at least y'all you know, got a month, you know? Latinos, y'all get one day each for all y'all. And there's a load of you. There really is. There's a gang of, like Mexicans, y'all get single in the mind, right? Right. Uh, Puerto Ricans, we got any Puerto Ricans here? I, I didn't think so. I didn't see nobody's flag. Okay, all right. <laughs> now, y'all know Puerto Ricans always have flags. It's either on their neck or on the Toyota Corolla. You pick. All right. And they're proud. They're like, Puerto Ricans, my country, it's my country. Stupid ass, it's U.S. territory. All right. You know, that's what I said. Oklahoma's my country, dummy. Okay. Anyway, Puerto Ricans got the Puerto Rican Day Parade in New York, you know, where they rape a girl in the park. Hey, look, folks, that's their culture. That's how they choose to celebrate. We can't judge. Dominicans got the opening day of baseball. Cubans, Cubans didn't even get a day. Ain't that a bitch to not even get a day? They just gave them Miami and said, F it. <laughs> like, hell, they keep on washing up. Give it to them. <laughs> Did y'all see this recently? A, a, a guy in Cuba made a truck into a boat. It was in the news. A truck into a boat. Am I the only one thinking that maybe the Discovery Channel has made its way to Cuba? <laughs> right? Because that's got Monster Garage written all over that, doesn't it? Seriously. <laughs> but some Cubans don't even use a boat, do they? They just take off swimming. They're like, F it, I'm out of here. <laughs> and they swim for like two or three weeks, and that's a long way to swim when you're trying to keep a cigar lit. That ain't easy, you know? <laughs> two or three weeks in the ocean, swimming. And yet in this country, we still got the nerve to call Mexicans wetbacks. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Ain't that a bitch. Most Mexicans, y'all didn't cross the border, the border crossed you. But if you did have to cross that border, that water ain't beneath high. That ain't gonna get you back wet. Unless you trip or fall. I should call y'all like uh, wet shins or shin backs. Barraza, <laughs> Simon. Poor Mexicans, though. Y'all get one day of recognition for what you've done for this country. The fifth largest economy in the world is California, and it all used to be Mexico. And we give you one day of regular <laughs> that. Next year, because I'm down with the brown like a mother <laughs> I'm gonna hang out at Home Depot the whole day. <laughs> Drive around with no insurance. <laughs> Give me some dirty kids and go to Kmart. <laughs> La raza! <laughs> Ralphie. But the most messed up thing we do to minorities actually happened back in January. Anybody go to the mall when they were holding the white sale <laughs> on Martin Luther King Day? <laughs> and buy yourself some sheets? <laughs> That's f***ed up, ain't it? We got the nerve in this country to hold a white sale on Martin Luther King Day, and all you can do is sell some sheets? <laughs> Like, what if you get there early, you get a book of matches and a map to black churches? God damn! <laughs> Relax! It ain't right. 
And Ramin Martin Luther King is one of the greatest Americans of all times. So that man had true courage, you know what I'm saying, y'all? He stood up. That's right, fought for America. He wasn't elected, he wasn't paid. He just knew it was right. And that's why he did it. But he had conviction you couldn't get today. You know what I'm saying? He would march like 40 miles in a day. <laughs> God damn, 40 <laughs> miles. Maybe y'all adding that up. Okay, that's 40 miles. And that's with them old school shoes too. That ain't with good ass cross trainers. There ain't no Nike shocks for Martin, you know what I mean? That's some hurt yourself shoes. Y'all still ain't with me. That's a mile further than 39 miles. That's a long walk. You know there was a brother walking with Martin got mad, at least one. Yo, Martin, what the f Yeah, man, you made your point at mile 19, okay, player? <laughs> no, I ain't being a troublemaker, Martin. I'm just saying maybe you didn't think this all out. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. How are we getting back? No, we can't take the bus, remember? <laughs> Lord, Lord, Lord. <laughs> Thanks to Martin's good work. You know, this, a lot of wrongs were righted. Swinchel. But now the pencil swung too far to the left, you know what I mean? And now everybody's too PC. This is what made me snap. Okay, I was up for, um, I was up for a movie, okay, a horrible movie, all right? All right, and I went to the fourth callback though. That means you're supposed to have the part, right? And then I got told by the studio, I had to lose weight to play a fat guy. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> Too fat to be fat, mother <laughs> That's like, that's like telling a Mexican, get a tan. <laughs> Look here, Pedro, you better darken up, son. <laughs> so it made me snap. Okay, and I made a New Year's resolution this year, and it wasn't to lose weight because at this point, fuck it. <laughs> right, fuck it. This is more than a Diet Coke fix, right? Okay. Right, right. So my New Year's resolution this year was just to be correct. Not politically correct, just correct. There's a big difference. Like, I don't say African American. All right, and the reason is I live off of Crenshaw, okay? Crenshaw and Adams, okay? All right, and even the white people go, ooh, that is dangerous. <laughs> That's in a Dr. Dre song. I've heard it before. <laughs> That's scary. Anyway, I live off of Crenshaw, okay? All right, I'm completely surrounded by black folks. I am the only cracker in the box. <laughs> All those, none of whom have been to Africa. We got black people here, anybody? That's what I thought. Oh, you've been to Africa. Get the f out of here. Come on, yeah, yo. Okay, Mufasa. Maybe you're African American. The rest of these people, black folks. Right, right. You still black? All right. Just black. African American. You know, I, why do they name most black people after some place they've actually been? Like, uh, Compton Americans. <laughs> or <laughs> Inglewood Swap Meet Americans. <laughs> Vietnamese Nail Salon Americans. Some place black folks actually go, okay? <laughs> and I feel bad for black, don't get it twisted. I feel bad, because it's been a tough year to be black. I mean, seriously, this year's been okay? Y'all had, uh, Whitney Houston, Bobby Brown interview? Oh. That's a tough day to be black. Because that was embarrassing. They were up there lying their asses off. No, we don't do cocaine. Why, you got any cocaine? <laughs> and did you see Bobby? He was the only one sweating, wasn't he? He was sweating like R. Kelly at the Kids' Choice Awards. Holy <laughs> fuck. That's right, I said it. What's up? 
Well, look, Whitney, she was crack asses up there. Buy my CD, please, buy my CD. I'm on cocaine, man, buy my CD. I need more money for cocaine. All right, and then they bring out the fat baby. Thank God somebody's eating in that house, huh? Oh, yeah, that's Barbara's little girl, too, because those teeth are f***ed up, huh? God damn, I've seen a jack o' lantern with a better smile. That's that little baby can eat both sides of the cob of corn at the same time. <laughs> Her teeth are like a goddamn ludicrous song. They're in different area codes, like 4 4, 2 1 2, 3 2 3. <laughs> I've got tooths. <laughs> and black folks, y'all had the sniper this year? Oh, sh. I was mad as hell at the sniper. Mad like a mother God damn you, sniper. Until I found out he was black and Muslim, and I was like, get the f out of here. That's fantastic. Are you me? Really? Black M? That's two with one. Get the f out of here. That's fantastic. How's it feel, black folks? Ha 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 ha. time y'all had some crazy people. God damn, because they had crazy white boy written all over that one, didn't it? Didn't y'all think it was some mullet from Kentucky drove over there with his truck and a deer rifle and started shooting up white people? <laughs> Make NASCAR year long. <laughs> Make rodeo an Olympic sport. <laughs> Bring back hee haw. Right? But it wasn't. It was black and Muslim. I was like, oh, thank God. That's fantastic. Holy sh Woo! I blame his family, though. His family should have seen that sh coming, right, girlfriend? You know what I'm talking about. They should have seen that sh coming. Come on, black and Muslim? That means you got to give up weed and white women. Boy, you knew somebody was going to get shot. <laughs> Brother can't go cold turkey on white <laughs> Oh, hell no. That's a 12-step program right there. Brother had to get a cell phone in his name. <laughs> Find a new co-signer for a new apartment. Get a new ride to work. You gotta be smoking weed when that shit's going down. You can't go cold turkey on boat. That's tough. I gotta be honest with you though, I kinda understood it when the sniper shot somebody at the Home Depot. I kinda got that one. Cause I've gone to Home Depot before on the weekend and I wanted to shoot somebody my goddamn self. And y'all, no y'all, somebody's gonna help me with some paint. This is some bull over here. I've been next for three hours. What the fuck is a hold up? Marco Polo, this is some bull. <laughs> I'd have killed somebody this time. <laughs> now I think the white people in Colorado are trying to take out the last good brother. I think they are. I think the last good brother is on the chopping block. They're trying to hurt him. Poor Kobe. Those white people over there are trying to do it. The Denver Nuggets couldn't. <laughs> Stop Kobe. And you're in a tough spot, you know? You're in a tough spot because you want to be the victim, even though I don't. You want to be, but I don't. I, I can't, I see too many problems. Too many problems. Because the prosecutor's whole evidence, the only physical evidence they have is vaginal bruising. That's it, and tear it, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Men, take a break. I'm gonna talk to you ladies for a second. Girls, I'm gonna talk to you for a second, okay? Just to the ladies. <laughs> Girls, if some man was trying to steal your <laughs> You fight his ass, right, girlfriend? Right? You just scratch him on his face, you fuck him up, right? You know, black girls and Latinas, you pull a razor out of your titties and cut it. <laughs> right? Right? Black girl cut him like he got her hair wet. Isn't that right, girlfriend? Oh, no, you didn't, mother... Sister. <laughs> right? Right. And he had to rip your clothes off too, wouldn't he, girls? That's right, right. He had to rip them off, right? Right? You wouldn't take them off for him. Like, oh Jesus, this is my first You're crazy. <laughs> right? He had to rip your shit off, wouldn't he, girls? There was none of that in evidence. None of that. Zero. Just vaginal bruising and tearing. I got an idea how that might have happened. <laughs> Let me walk you through this. I'll do the math so you don't have to, okay? All right? 
19-year-old white girl, six foot eight black man. Just a theory. And everybody's amazed that his wife is staying with him. She got a four million dollar ring. Girls, that'll make a lot of sh go by the wayside, won't it, ladies? You're damn right. I don't know if there are many people here, but if you're a woman, and you're here with a man, and you can tell me with a straight face, you wouldn't let him have a new piece of for a four million dollar ring? You're a liar. You're a lying and you know you are. Because and sometimes you gotta rise above your morals. That ain't adultery, goddammit, that's business. Hell yeah. I ain't gotta do the math, but I tell you right now, sister, you let him Yeah, you, know, you help push when your girlfriend. You got that right. You got You got that right, girl. Hell yeah. Four million dollars, and the next day you be showing your friend, girl, look at this ring. I can fight crime with this ring. Big ass ring. Look at it. Look, hey, hey this doesn't mean nothing, okay? My man didn't buy I believe my man. He said he was walking around naked and that white bitch fell on his dick. And I believe him. I can say Kobe a load of money and attorney fees. That shit would have been over already. Yes, Your Honor, we would like to make an opening statement. Yes, we actually at this time would like to refute the uh, prosecutor's assertions that during the alleged sexual assault, my client vaginally bruised or tore the alleged victim Members of the jury, something we like to call Exhibit A. <laughs> Your Honor, if the dick don't fit, you must acquit. Sometimes black folks get mad at me because I be talking about them too much. I get mad. Y'all just happen to be first. Mexicans, though, y'all always take a joke pretty good, don't you, Mexicans? Seriously, for real, y'all do. You know you do. As long as it's true. Right? You don't really fuck with it. And I can say some messy shit about Mexicans. As long as it was true, the worst thing that would happen is eight. Oh. <laughs> like, what's the best Mexican wedding gift? Shoes for a two-year-old. <laughs> hey, that's <laughs> dope. Yeah, the white people here. Oh, he's horrible. He has been making fun of African Americans and now Mexican Americans. He's horrible. I personally would never treat my help that way. That's right, white people. You don't mow your own lawn. Shut the f up. Let's keep it real. It's gonna be just correct. Everybody's a goddamn blank American now. You can't say anything about anybody because everybody might get their delicate little feelings hurt. Ooh, ooh, stop it. Ooh. They're blank Americans. Nation full of that. When was the last time you heard a good joke? Oh, I might be a dick for saying it, but uh, everybody knows what the fuck I'm talking about, huh? Yeah, joke. Joke. Like Yao Ming. You heard about Yao Ming? Seven foot five China man. God damn. Seven foot five. That's like eight or nine Jackie Chans. Holy shit, that's a big ass agent. 
I bet he can iron 15 shirts at the same time. <laughs> what I want to know is where the f is he going to find a stretch Honda Civic? That's what I want to know. Oh, I'm a dick. You're right. No Asians ever work at dry cleaners. I'm making it up. They never take a three-foot Honda Civic, put a four-foot spoiler on it, drop it an inch off the ground and make it sound like a herd of West Nile mosquitoes. That never happens. Too fast, too furious. Get the out of here. Everybody's so goddamn sensitive. In this neighborhood, you can't say anything about gay people. Stop it. They are sensitive. Why, because they suck dick? <laughs> Stop it! Okay, because they suck dick, they get to have a parade and fuck up traffic for three days. <laughs> what the fuck is that, girls? Y'all suck dick, y'all don't get a parade? What the fuck is that all about? Where's your goddamn parade? <laughs> all suckers to the sidewalk, sorry. Oh, I'm a dick. No, look, folks, I'm not homophobic. I'm gas conscious, okay? I ain't willing to take a 15-mile detour so little bunny foo-foo can walk up and down the street going, yay for dick, I like it in the ass. F that. <laughs> look, I'm sorry. Now my gas is damn near $2 a gallon. F you, Holmes. <laughs> look here, Bubbles. Go suck dick in your bedroom. I'm not driving there, okay? And gay people just take it. They used to be everybody's and make it gay. Remember when you was a kid, you just draw a picture of your house? You put a nice big rainbow in the sky? <laughs> Gay. They done took the rainbow. I want the rainbow back. You can't have the rainbow, goddammit. We didn't vote on this shit. I didn't get an email. F you, you greedy bastard. How many colors do you need, goddammit? And what the f does a rainbow have to do with sucking dick anyway? Ain't like it's magically delicious. Isn't that right, girls? Cause if it was, it'd be sorry to get you to do it once in a while, huh? Mm -hmm. And look, if you're gay and you're all worked up, well, guess what? It's just a joke. Even though personally, I do want the rainbow back. It's just a joke. Look, you can take a dick in the ass. You can damn sure take a joke. Sorry. <laughs> they told me not to make fun of it. The magician got ate up by the tiger. I'm sorry, it's funny. What the f are you doing hanging out with a cat? Cats are vile creatures when they're eight pounds. They f hate you. If you want a cat, it f hates you. All you're there to do is feed it, scratch that place where its tail meets its ass, and clean out its box, okay? They hate you. You'll be petting them. This is the proof. They'll be petting. You think, oh, no, he loves me. Really? Keep on petting. He'll turn ah, and start bite your ass. They're evil when they're eight pounds. This is a 600-pound tiger. Look here, dummy. That's a It's going to get you. Good. That's what you get for making a proud beast of the jungle and Putting it on a goddamn gay disco ball and having two <laughs> poking with a stick. <laughs> the tiger was gonna snap. You knew it was coming. I bet he was backstage before the show going, This is bullshit, Marty. <laughs> had enough, bro. I'm a goddamn tiger. <laughs> Seven years he's been poking me with that stick and made me wear that big <laughs> disco ball. So I'm now the poster child for gay cats. What the is this? Shut up, Mark. You got it easy. You pop out of a box. Me, I'm taking in the ass. I heard that mother been calling me Snowball, too. That's some bullshit. Swear to God, he hits with that stick, it's his ass. You know there was a guy in the audience, though. You know there was a guy in the audience who had a day at the tables. He got dragged to that show by his wife. Had to spend $150 a ticket. Pissed off. And back, he's going, man, I wish that tiger eat that.
A tiger had enough. Good. <laughs> now it's just Siegfried. Ha ha ha. They're giving him Roy Tetanus and they're giving the cat AZT. Oh, too much. You're right. <laughs> Gay men never have disease. <laughs> that. Anyway, doctors have promised he'll be back on his knees in no time. <laughs> yeah, I said it. Roy's first words yesterday, he woke up to open his eyes and go, ta-da. <laughs> That tiger was quoted saying, he tastes great! <laughs> Hysterical. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody, boo-hoo, the poor man, the poor man. How about the tiger? He can't exactly gargle with scope. That taste is gonna be in there for a while. <laughs> Just me. I'm sick of it. Everybody's so PC. You can't say this or that about anybody. Everybody's so Everybody, oh, I wish we had a president like the Kennedys. They were great. JFK was awesome. Let me do the math for you, okay, again. Okay, everybody, they had some kind of Kennedy special. Every year they have come a new thing. The Kennedys, the Americas, you know, with Maria Shriver's Nazi husband and went to the governor. I'm sorry, his daddy was a Nazi. He's not a Nazi. The only thing that makes me even like Schwarzenegger is he admitted in 77 he had group sex with a black chick. All right. Schwarzenegger, huh? I get where half that name comes from. <laughs> anyway, they have a special all the time about Kennedy this or Kennedy that. And it always starts out the same. Some blathering idiots crying. Ooh, how could so much tragedy happen to one group of people? <laughs> have a one group of people. <laughs> it's because they're f***ing stupid. That's how come. <laughs> I'm sorry. Joe Kennedy had weak sperm and all his offspring are soft skulled. Corky from life goes on <laughs> Every single <laughs> one of them. I'm sorry. JFK was an idiot. You don't take your mistress to where your wife is. Ask any black guy you know. That's the first rule how to be a player, right, dog? You don't take the anywhere near the woman you married, right? Can I get a what, what, holla, holla, bling, bling, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the day he died, he was an idiot. He was like, oh, the hard top. Let's take the convertible. <laughs> Back and to the left. His little brother, Robert, come on, guys. I know a shortcut through the kitchen. <laughs> How about Teddy Kennedy? It's okay, baby. I'm a great driver. Bloop, 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 bloop. How about this idiot? <laughs> And JFK Jr. was an idiot, too. He was like, oh, f the second day of flight school. I'm a Kennedy. <laughs> you know when that plane went down to his, you know the happiest person in the world was? His ex-girlfriend, Daryl Hannah. She was sitting home going, whew, I'm so glad he didn't marry me. <laughs> and that's f***ed up because that bitch was a mermaid. She could have saved his life. <laughs> Ain't that a goddamn <laughs> Sad. Mm, mm, mm. Everybody gets mad at me because, oh, how could you do that? How could you be so irreverent? Uh, because different things happen for different people, okay? Let's say it wasn't three rich, white, famous people that went down in the ocean, okay? Let's make it a little more real, shall we? All right, let's use another example. Let's say, God forbid, it was three black folks went down there. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. 
Because I know black folks, y'all get emotional. Oh, Jesus. Okay, all right. God forbid. God forbid. All right, I'm going to ask three questions. And the correct answer for every question is hell no. Question number one. Would there be 42,000 people out in the ocean looking for the black airplane? <laughs> Hell no! Huh? Maybe Reverend Sharpton in a rowboat. That's about it. <laughs> That's about it. Question number two. Would there be eight days of 24-hour day news coverage on the loss of the black airplane? Hell, yeah. Hell no. <laughs> it'd be, even on BET, it'd be like this. Uh, uh, yeah, today, three black folks went down in the ocean. Back to you in sports, Bob. <laughs> even on BET. Last but not least. Last question, number three. Would the government move satellites to help find the black airplane? <laughs> Hell no. They won't give y'all the 40 acres and a mule they promised you 135 years ago. For damn sure they're gonna move no satellites, right? They might give y'all some cheese or Kool-Aid, that's about it. <laughs> the Kennedys, what, we got three left? Those motherfuckers, I'm sick of all of them. Kill them all. I'm tired of bullshit. I'm sorry, folks. I got no sympathy for a president that gets popped in the head and I don't get a three day weekend because of it. Fuck you, Jack. Put that shit in the summer where we can barbecue because I want my baby back, baby back. Chili <laughs> and barbecue sauce. I'm sick of everybody wanting for something in the past, you know? I'm like, oh, oh, stop. Oh, oh, oh. The new thing is, if you're, if you're uh, rich and you're bored with your life and everything's going great, but you feel bad about how easy you have it, okay? The new thing is to go out and protest something. <laughs> That's it, it happens, oh, in Hollywood, it happens all the time. Little spoiled rich girls who are really actresses, okay? <laughs> I'm an actress, I'm just waiting tables now. I mean, it's a transition. <laughs> But everything feels great with my life. Everything is so awesome with my life. It's so totally awesome. You know, my dad's got, you know, I pay $1,100 for a studio apartment in West Hollywood. And you know, I've got to drive a BMW. It's a couple years old, but I'll manage. <laughs> I feel empty. I feel, I feel so empty. I really do. I want to make the world a better place. Girl, we should protest. Really? Yes. Yes, that whole war in Iraq bullshit. It was just a war for oil. You're so right. I thought that. You're so right. You know, that's why we get along. I'm a Sagittarius and you're a Libra. We totally get along. We really do. War for oil. That's stupid. Hello, we've got Quaker State here, dear. <laughs> Girl, let's go protest that war for oil. Okay, fuck it. We'll take my dad's expedition. It'll be fun. <laughs> and these are the same people who two years ago were protesting paper companies and logging companies for cutting down trees. No, you can't cut down these trees. They're magic. They're magic trees, not for paper. There's an elf in there that's gonna help three midgets and a crackhead drop a ring into a volcano. <laughs> you can't cut down these trees for paper. And now this year they were all protesting in the streets with big ass paper signs. No war. No war. <laughs> uh, 
Everybody was crying. Oh, it's just a war for oil. It's a war for oil. It's a war for oil. <laughs> Good. I'm tired of paying $2.22 a gallon for gas. Light them up, George. Light them the up. I'm sick of this shit. Yeah, by the time we get something out of a war, we didn't get shit out of Somalia except for one good movie. that. I want cheap gas. You're goddamn right. Knock, knock, who's there? Cruise missile. Light them up. Sick of this shit. You're goddamn right I want cheap gas. And I want to buy from a good gas station like Exxon or Mobile. Not no bull ghetto thrifty gas station in the corner of Crenshaw and Adams. that gas. And blacks and Mexicans, you know what I'm talking about, because that's where y'all buy y'all's gas, too. Don't act like you don't. Get that gas. You know the homeless people won't even come up to you because they know you ain't got no change to spare. <laughs> Bullshit gas. Comes with leaves out of the pipe. Get that gas. We wouldn't start a barbecue grill, goddammit. I want some Tecron in my sh I don't know what the f Tecron is either, but I know I want me some. Don't you want you some? You're goddamn right. Look, and put some Optimus Prime in that sh I don't give a fat baby's dick. Let's do it. I want cheap gas. Yeah, boo hoo hoo. Good. So about time we should night that whole region. I'm sick of this. Sh Take this. Sh Look, you can live in peace, or you can't live at all. Mother, marinate on that. One country down, 15 more to go. Come. Come. Let's pave it over, make a nice big 7-Eleven, be like their training center. And Look. Hey, they blow themselves up one at a time to go to Allah. Let's just speed up the trip. <laughs> those mother do you know how long it takes me to put my shoes back on at the airport? Those mother <laughs> Light them up! Sick of this <laughs> My mama's been afraid for two years. <laughs> those dudes. I swear to God, if gas hits 250, I'm going over. I just went, I came back last week. If it's 250, I'm going back. I can't run for shit, but I sure as can't push a button. And I'd make a very scary paratrooper. Goddamn right. Sick of this sh nation full of p You can't say anything about anybody, can you, anymore? No. You can't say this about that person or that about this person. Because everybody's a goddamn blank American. Oh, stop it. Stop. They're blank Americans. Stop it. That blank American bull Just be correct. Just correct, okay? The last group left is fat people. <laughs> we're it, we're the last ones left. Ain't that a we're the only group you can join. <laughs> Ain't that a mother <laughs> It's messed up, because all we do, every one of us, okay? You know, you can always make fun of fat people. Oh, oh. watch TV, watch a movie. All fat people do on them is eat. Fart. That's all we can do. <laughs> Eat ha ha ha! Like that movie with Fat Bastard in it. Wasn't that funny? Didn't that make you ha ha ha? Oh, that's so funny. Oh, God, he wants to eat the midget. Oh, f Christ. He thinks that midget's a baby. Get in your belly! Oh, Christ. Did he fart? I think he farted. Oh. I swear to God, that motherfucker. Funny. Yeah, fat bass. <laughs> yeah. Friends, let me give you something to marinate on, okay? Let's take another group of people that's easily identifiable, put all their negative stereotypes in a movie, and just see how long that shit would last. Like, not fat bastard, what about black bastard? Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Yeah, black bastard, big, tall Patrick Ewing, missing link looking mother with Jerry Curl juices dripping down his hair, and the brother's black. I'm talking way darker than Amistad black. I'm talking Sierra Leone black. Like, walk outside at night, close his eyes, mother disappeared black. Like, sprinkle salt on him, look like deep space. I'm talking black. 
with gold toothfuses. And I said that shit correctly. Toothfuses that say player with an A. Medallions from a swap middle who came in second in the ghetto Olympics with two fat white babies, mamas. Okay, girl. Mm -hmm. Ain't paying a damn bit of child support. Still living at his mama's house. Slinging a little rock on the side waiting for a government check. Driving a bullshit. 82 Pontiac with three $9,000 rims that he's paying off at $36 a week because I'm a player. <laughs> yeah, black bass. You hold on, that shit would last about zero seconds and LA would start to burn like Oakland lost twice. <laughs> what about Mexican bass? You're Mexican. Hey, fuck you, Holmes. You're going to be the biggest piece of carne asada ever. Yeah, Mexican bass, a little short, greasy Mexican with a big ass sombrero and chorizo juice is dripping out of his mustache and little silver baby teeth on a grove man. Silver baby teeth, and if you've been to Mexico, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Little silver baby teeth and a dirty white poncho with bullets and hubcaps right here. A fat, greasy Mexican wife in a prom dress and a tiara for no reason with 10 dirty kids all selling chiclets. Chiclet, 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 chiclet. You kiddo, chiclet, 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 chiclet. Driving a bull 79 El Camino with 15 fucked up lawnmowers in the back, ain't one of them working right. Tailpipe held up by a coat hanger, one mud flap, some matador, another one's a naked girl. And Mexicans always gotta paint a scene on the car to remind them of Mexico and shit. Like the 12 people in the car with you can't tell you where the fuck you're from, you gotta paint the shit on the car. So you see the Virgin Mary Guadalupe hanging out in the desert with Selena and Emilio. And Julio Cesar Chavez is picking beans. And Telemundo's got a soccer game and Jesus is a referee. Hector Macho Camacho's boxing Oscar De La Hoya and Fernando Vargas in the ultimate Mexican death match. And the horn goes bum 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 bum. Y'all been great, peace. Y'all are great, thank you so much.